Hello YouTube, it's time by TMC Fate back again here. Today I'm going to present to you my simple antivirus that I've created on December 2014 holidays using nothing else but C++ and Empacadero Red Studio as my favorite IDE so here is the code for that antivirus for this antivirus of mine so okay let me run it so we'll see how does it look like I just chose it to make it so simple of course it's not professional and of course I know you can do better than this so I just chose to make this one for USBs on the end of course I will just remove two lines of code so it can scan port USBs and system drive so here we go I, I've just inserted two USBs for now and obviously if I click scan now now it won't scan both of them because they are not selected even if this one is selected it won't scan it until I check it so this is just a normal checklist box here so I could, I could actually detect if the USB is removed or inserted. For now, I'm just going to remove one. As you can see, it's removed. And now I will take it back. As you can see, it comes back. So I'm actually running a smart dev here. It's the antivirus I'm using. Here we go. This is smart dev 2013. It's the antivirus I'm using. And then this one is the one I've just created. So let me scan the first one first. So it, ju it just have 22 files and then let me scan the second one so this is the total number of folders and here is the current scan scanning folder so this is the actual file and then this is the total number of files and if any virus is detected it will be added to this zero so there I have one two five zero which is one thousand two hundred and fifty files scanned and none of them was detected as a virus so of course i could uh, you can also scan both of these usbs so it will allow you to do that as you can see I did not implement a stop button because yes of course some of stuff are showing if you know what I mean but, but here we are it scan part of this USB so let me show you this here we are I just created shortcuts like this so SmartDev treats this thing as a virus. If you have a name, a normal folder or normal file, and shortcut like this, it's treated as a shortcut virus. So I could prove that by just scanning, running a quick scan using, as you can see, six virus detected there. Let me stop it. 
as you can see six virus detected and the result is only those shortcuts that I've just created there so I don't want to fix them I want to use my C++ developed antivirus to fix this thing and remove it for good so since it's on drive G it's the one I want to scan as you can see already they are detected as a virus this shortcut Is it still recording? Yes, it's still recording. Let me minimize it. There we go. I can now that I uh, six of viruses have been detected. I will then show the result. Here we are window shortcut file. So this is the actual file. This is the size and uh, no action taken. So obviously by clicking smart clean it will then uh, remove these files here for good put it right it will just delete them so here we are removed 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 and of course they are removed so the question is how does it know if that file is a virus okay here's an answer I have a data file here containing virus type and description so if a file is having this file extension is a window visual drive device drive file if it's of this then it's a Trojan file if the file extension is of this is an Autoran file so virus file name virus file extension description extension description ex and so on and so forth so I got this list of file extensions and descriptions from the internet so it's separated by an equal sign so in this a uh, program this stuff gets loaded to a class I just created a class that deals with the stuff as you can see I created a class co called virus here as you can see it can then handle and manipulate this data here so of course it's just a few of them and uh, there are lots there are lots of viruses out there so the more I get them I will then keep on adding them so let's prove if it will I will just pick this one here and close this go to drive G create a new text file and then I change the file extension there to be this so this antivirus will treat this thing as a virus just because it have this file extension okay let me run it in fact let me duplicate this file copy paste and then create also shortcuts and then also copy this to another folder there I mean copy not more here and one more here okay let me scan it now so so far it detected four let's wait and see I guess it's this four here okay 812 of course they are 12 4 4 there equal to 8 and for as you can see it's a virus a virus 
apparel so i ignore because i know i will just fix it using this so here we go various description here file name file size action let me smash clean so it's done of course I could then open this folder find everything that is gone yes it's gone as you can see so that's it for now I could then stop it hope you enjoyed the video hope you like it that's it folks Till next time.